I'm Chip Lear, and if you love to fish as much as I do, you find yourself tweaking every little thing you can, trying to maximize performance out of every fishing tool that you have. I mean, look at hooks. I love hooks. When we, we purchase a package of hooks, we're not happy with how sharp they are out of the box. A lot of times, we're sharpening them, making them a little bit better. Our plastics are the same thing. We're always cutting them, fidgeting them, making it just the perfect shape. We want them to fall at that exact rate. And you know what? There are ways you can do that to optimize performance out of your boat too. And probably one of those key tools is this right here. This is a jack plate. It mounts on the transom of your boat. No matter what kind of boat you have, it can optimize the performance of that rig a lot of different ways. First of which, you're going to notice it's slightly recessed back from the transom itself. The purpose of that not only is for this hydraulics, but it puts the lower unit of your outboard back into cleaner water, allowing that prop to get a better bite. And there are, but the real keys to a jack plate are the hydraulics of a jack plate and being able to adjust, raise the engine and lower the engine while out in the water, no matter what conditions you're facing. So if you find yourselves in super shallow water, you can get on plane quicker. If you find yourself in rough water, you can stabilize the boat all with the use of the jack plate. Let's get out in the water and let me show you how. The three main advantages to a jack plate on your rig are first and foremost for me is the fact that I get a quicker hole shot in shallow water with the jack plate in the up position. If you think about a jack plate accentuating the moves of your trim of your engine, by moving that motor into the highest position possible, when I trim that motor down and throttle down, when I go to go on plane instead of going deep, which we've all trimmed up the engine and, and plowed the water like so, driving the transom of the boat into the ground and hitting all sorts of debris with your prop. If you ever worried about that, put the jack plate in the highest position possible, trim all the way down, and what's going to happen there is you're going to watch that boat pop up on the plane quicker and more efficiently than it can in any other position. Secondly, is in rough water. One thing you don't think about is a jack plate. Everybody thinks about jack plates for other reasons. Really rough water, you can run that, your motor in the furthest position down. It's going to actually allow you to push your nose slightly further down. And in rough water, what do you want to do with your trim? You want that bow to go down because that's going to stabilize your ride and give you a much sturdier feel on the water. Third, foremost, probably the most fun application for a jack plate is, man, once you get up and up on step, you can tweak that jack plate to raise and lower that engine to not only run in shallow water, but man, lift that nose up, put this whole baby riding on the pad that it's designed to ride on, and you've got one mean, lean fishing machine. To rig the jack plate for the quickest hole shot possible, or the shallowest hole shot possible, I've got a, a, a jack plate trim switch right here on next to the steering wheel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to raise that engine as far out of the water as it'll go. So I'm raising it up. I've got actually a gauge on the right hand side of the console here that's letting me know. Now that I know that I'm all the way up, I'm trimming my engine all the way down. It's simple. Once I'm all the way down, now I'm ready to go. Hit the fuel and we are up and on step in no time flat. Bingo bango. We're moving. Most importantly, once you get it up, you've got to recess that jack plate down and adjust your trim. That's why you've got both these adjustments right here on your steering wheel. So once we get up and moving, we can tweak it for the best ride possible. One of the biggest misconceptions you see in trying to get on a plane in shallow water is, is people will put their jack plate in the down position and then they trim the engine up. And what happens, and I'll hit the foot throttle here, we start going, you can see what happens here. The engine's getting pushed further down into the water. And what am I looking at? I'm looking at nothing but deck. So I, my, my view's obstructed at the same time. This is incredibly dangerous, especially if you've got other boaters around or if you're in a tournament situation. The beauty and value of having a jack plate on your rig really can't be measured. I mean, let's consider the fact we're getting a shallower and safer hole shot. We're getting safer and a more stable ride in rough weather. And most importantly, when we're rocking at high speed, man, we're having more fun.